dorsal, dorsal glute to feature. We started off with the pines and you follow the four wheel drive track and then get onto the Barra uh, track, which goes up to um, uh, Mitre Flats Hut. You then follow the, uh, the spur up to, up to Peggy's uh, and to Mitre and then around to uh, Brockett and uh, Girdlestone. Uh, then from Girdlestone, we head off to Wiltstown and then drop down uh, Dorset uh, Ridge and then down to Dorset Ridge uh, Hut. spot and an amazing uh, night there and then the next morning uh, we went back up uh, Dorset Ridge, uh, cruised uh, back up here, went to Tarn Ridge Hut uh, and then from there we dropped down into uh, the Winawa uh, River. Uh, we went straight down uh, from uh, Tarn Ridge Hut, we wouldn't recommend uh, that apparently there's an old uh, track here which um, would be worthwhile checking out and of course you have the pinnacle spur there but once you get down into the river the travel is beautiful this um, this section here is just amazing so I highly recommend that
followed the uh, legendary horrible uh, track uh, through the Cow Creek um, and yeah that was pretty nasty. Uh, then from there we uh, traveled down uh, down the river which is um, well, down the track beside the river. Nice travel, a couple of nice good uh, runnable bits back to Mida Flats Hut and then back on the Barra uh, track and then the four wheel drive track back to the Pines to where we started. So I've just got a little, uh, just a little 30 litre uh, backpack and uh, in the backpack I've got um, a map and compass and a hut pass. I carried some sunglasses for uh, being up in the snow, uh, a few painkillers just in case. And I just carried a, a bladder which um, uh, runs up to a couple of a couple of litres, keep you well hydrated. And inside is carrying a like a, a puffer styled uh, style jacket, keeps you um, you know super warm. When you're, in the, when you're in the hut or if it's really cold outside like it was uh, on Monday morning when the ground was all frozen. Uh, really good, uh, really good jacket for when it gets um, freezing cold. I love this jacket because it's got um, zips underneath the, under your arms so you can wear it and still keep the uh, knot overheat when when it's horrible and you want to have a jacket on. I uh, carried my, my jet boil uh, jet boil stove and this thing is fantastic. <laughs> it heats boils water super quick. Then got my uh, over trousers in case it gets uh, ugly, ugly out. Um, some socks, spare socks, and um, just a bag full of food. So I was just, uh, I just carried a lot of uh, snack food and some had a small uh, dehydrated uh, meal for the night uh, that we were there, and then you know just some. Uh, just some cereal and some milk powder that um, mixed together uh, the next day for uh, for breakfast. And uh, winter time, I also uh, carry one of these. So this is um, an Escape uh, Soul Soul Escape uh, bivy, and it's kind of like a emergency uh, emergency bivy bag. And this thing is insulated and it can also breathe. Sometimes if it's really cold in the hut, I'll also uh, jump and put my sleeping bag inside this as well. Uh, inside here, uh, this is my medical kit, including my uh, PLB and yeah, just first aid stuff inside of there. And then the biggest thing inside my bag is my uh, sleeping bag um, and just to squash things down inside here I have my my spear uh, spear warm clothes so I've just got uh, long johns and a you know, long polyprop uh, top. So this is the stuff that I wear inside the hut uh, with that warm puffer jacket, and then I've got my uh, sleeping bag just stuffed in, uh, stuffed in there. So that is 
some rubbish uh, left over here. Oh, uh, micro spikes. So because we had um, snow on the tops and you know, potential icy conditions, carried uh, micro spikes that you can just whack on the bottom of your boots and make sure you don't uh, slide around on, on the snow. Um, didn't actually need those because the snow conditions were were really nice uh, when we were up there and had uh, had plenty had plenty of grip. Uh, one last thing, um, headlamp, good headlamp, and we used this uh, on Monday night just to uh, just to find uh, find find the hut. So yeah, that's. Um, that's what I carried in my in my bag. If you have any uh, questions, just put them in the comments below.